Bravo. So Kiro's first big obstacle in this bracket was Isaiah in his pool, and he did lose that set. Now he finds himself in top 32 of winners up against Yoshi. Yeah, so this is actually a rematch from Xanadu Origins where Kiro did take the victory. Yashi, I know, felt like uh, I talked to him after, and he felt like he could have won, felt like, you know, he is Kiro's rival in terms of Pikachu Ditto skill. And uh, now Yashi has that opportunity to prove it. Kiro, though, has been practicing a ton. I know I've been playing a lot of Pikachu Dittos with him. Uh, there, was, there was one day where uh, a few of us got our heads together and basically figured out that he had been playing that play for like eight hours that day. Oh, yeah. Like just between the four of us. And something to say about Kiro when it comes to net play is he started grinding that a couple years ago, and he has sort of just come into his own as a player in a way that I think we haven't seen before. Like, he won Xanadu this year. That was his first major win. Uh, Kiro has been practicing this game so much, and I think it has been paying off well for him. Yeah, so just to speak to Twitch chat, I believe round two of uh, winners. So this is round one of winners. The winners' quarterfinal matches, like Kyoshiki Wizrobe and Isaiah Boomfan, those will be on VG Bootcamp. Uh, yeah, I think it's VG Bootcamp 4. Uh, I think it's 2 now. 4 was yesterday. Uh... I'm not sure. I, I heard from Jason that yeah, so maybe only top eight will be on two, uh, but you'll, you guys will just have to check. Okay. It'll yeah, be on just one, of, one of those numbers, VG yeah, check. Bootcamp or two, three, or four. Yeah, so check VG Bootcamp. That'll be the winners, like winners round two, so winners quarterfinals matches. That's right. Uh, the match that we're seeing right here is a qualifier for those, so this is... Yeah, this is first round of top 32 winners. Yeah, first round of top 32. And honestly, uh, Yoshi, a, a pretty tough draw for Kiro who came, uh, came out of his pool in second. Yeah, honestly, there aren't a lot of easy draws here with the caliber of players. Oh, I mean, for sure, We yeah. saw, you know, Hammerheart uh, playing, what is it, Hammerheart, Wizrobe, and then Stranded, Isaiah. Like, uh, out of those four, there's really none that you want to play. Against. Yeah, anyone who made it out of their pool into winners is, you know, playing incredibly well today. And Kiro catches him trying to recover with that fair. That was actually uh, something Isaiah was posting about on Twitter a few months ago, using that fair as an edge guarding tool to kind of disrupt your opponent's ability to set up. It's a, it's a powerful option. Kiro with an immediate dash tech chase there. Yeah, both of these Pikachus very, uh, very good at tech chasing with the grabs after those knockdowns. Yeah, one thing I feel like that really sets Kiro apart is his use of pivot up tilts. He's extremely good at it, and in a lot of situations that another Pikachu would just go for a grab and back throw as kind of that default punish, Kiro will go for a pivot up tilt and end up getting more than, you know, most Pikas would be able to get. Yoshi ending that combo very early with an up smash. Yeah, it just goes up tilt, up smash, down B, kind of a classic combo, but uh, with only a single up tilt, you're not going to get a kill. Kiro able to get a kill with that up tilt into a back air. Stage with no jump and Joshi intercepting that angle. There's only really one way Kiro can go, but he arrives a little bit late that time. Yeah, the problem is the backer was stale. And when you're edge guarding Pikachu in the ditto, you often want to use different aerials. Ba or down air has such a good hitbox that you might be tempted to use it over and over. But after the first one, it will be maximally stale. And it's uh, maybe not the best option to use again. Kiro finding that up tilt, but not able yeah. to get the fall up. Was hoping to go underneath the top platform there, I think, and landed on top of it just barely from that double tilt. So unable to extend that combo any further. Joshi onto the side platform there. How do you escape the corner here? Kiro just chasing him down to the other side of the stage, catching him out of that up special with the up tilt into a back here. Kiro is up a full stock. Yeah, Yashi there tried, I think, to go to ledge. But uh, from that far below stage, you just have few options. Nice check chase there from yes. Yashi. Goes for an up smash, but that's not going to kill. No Maybe a pivot up to go down B. Would have been a little up. better. Yeah. There you, there you see that down air edge guard again. We'll see if he mixes up the option this time. Yeah, just catching him with the up smash. The trajectory from Pikachu uh, in that situation is, is predictable because there's really only, only one recovery option you can pick, which is to go you know diagonally up and then straight in towards the stage. So Joji able to wait that out, catch him with the up smash, and even the game right back up. Hero playing on top platform. He is a Pika that's willing to play on top platform when he's at high percent. Oh, look at that Dieter cancel up tilt. That's classic Hero stuff there, and he gets such a big payoff off of it. 80% almost gets the yeah. kill. Yashi barely escapes. Great DI from Yashi there to get out of that typical Pikachu upper backer combo. 
getting himself a second lease on life here. Hero anti airs with the up tilt, and that backer is still fresh and almost does the job. Oh, does the <laughs> great short hop, back. perfect land up to top platform, but not quite able to find the grab. And Yashi finding the offense a bit. Backer is still now. The but downer is fresh. Yeah, Kiro catches him, takes game number one in the Pikachu Ditto, looking just a bit better. What I love about Kiro's play is that he is very technical, but he's not just technical for the sake of moving around. He's technical and finds these niche applications yes. that other people can't do because they don't have that tech skill, like that that teeter, teeter cancel, cancel. Yeah. yeah. It's, so, it's not technical for being flashy or for looking cool. It's technical because it's necessary. Yeah, a lot of people probably here probably could do a teeter cancel like that if you just pulled up training mode and asked them to do it. But very few of them are going to be like here and able to apply that in the middle of the match right. and get a massive combo Yeah, just to, the ability to look for that and find that is what sets someone like Kiro apart from the rest. Yeah, and it makes him so fun to watch because you're always seeing new stuff. Yashi, though, chasing him down with the up tilts. This is oh, a yeah. big punish. Yeah, Kiro gives him that tech read or tech roll. And yeah, and so, uh, you know, sometimes you have to roll like that and just give him the grab, knowing that the grab won't kill. Yeah, in that situation, uh, Joshi's movement was a little bit off, so Kiro could have safely just rolled away. But in the moment, it's tough to recognize and react that quickly to your opponent having a, a lapse in their movement like that. Yeah, and Kiro here using. Height, willing to fight on the top platform. Yeah. Something that not every peak is willing to do. It is a bit dangerous. Pikachu, of course, has that up air that's so powerful above him. It's too far away to extend the punish. Kiro has been doing a really great job of escaping with upbeats. Look at that push off neutral air. Just coming out so quick for Joshi. Just reading a ledge up with a down tilt. Yeah, finds the answer there. So Yoshi looking pretty good in this second game. At least to start doing a ton of these full hops. Oh, full hop fares hop. eventually catches Kiro and gives him an opening. Now, can he trap him? Yes, Watery. Yashi not able to get out of the corner. Catches him with the up air trying to jump to side platform. Yeah. Catches him again and just up smashes the attempted recovery. Once again, it's one of those situations where the up smash pretty much just covers everything. And Kiro does not drop that timing this time. A lot of short hop downers uh, at these low percentages for both of these players right now. And I mean, you can see why it's such a big hitbox and so active, too. Ooh, you can see that patience from Kiro pressuring the shield on side platform, forcing Yashi to move. Yashi gets a little bit aggressive with the short hop fair. And he's kind of pushing Kiro into the corner right now. He fights his way out. She was on the ledge. And he's just giving up space again. Yeah, Kiro pretty willing to give up space, it seems like. And Yashi is going to take advantage of that, finding the up tilt. The Wispy messing him up, pushing him to ledge. Kiro and now, just, yeah, he's taking a minute. Yeah, he's Kiro is really patient when he's on the ledge. Some, uh, some players, when they're on the ledge, as Pikachu will just immediately act to get off. Kiro takes his time. Nice recovery there. It seemed like Yashi not quite ready for it. Both these guys taking a pretty patient approach here. Yeah, Three Yoshi minutes left before we see Start to tech into the corner there. The back throw didn't kill. Any other option, it might have been the stock for Kiro. Yeah, this is a set where, you know, Kiro's coming in with the advantageous seed, but you know, Yashi, I don't think there's, Yashi feels like there's anyone, maybe Karaba, that he feels like he can't beat. He's someone that's gonna take, go, go into every match, like, you know, this is, should be even, or I should be winning this. That's the exact type of mentality you have to have to compete at this level. You really do. And you can see it in his play, you know, he's playing deliberate. He's not gonna just try and fish for some big combo and, you know, increase variance hoping for something crazy to happen to give him the win. He thinks, you know, I have the better fundamentals here. I can do it. And he might be right with all that Pikachu Ditto experience that he's going to have in Peru. But Kira looking very strong so far. Yeah, he made a big error a second ago, though. Just down beam towards him in neutral. But Joshi yeah, really didn't odd. get anything off of that. What do you think he was trying to do? I honestly have no idea. There's really no B button move that you would want to use there. So. My, my best guess is he was trying to do a short hop down air, which is like really common approach, and his finger just slipped and hit yeah. B. Oh no, Yoshi. 
just a little bit late in that conversion, and Kiro found the window to up the out. It's nice DI there, guard. though. DI is in the edge and ends up forcing the backer to yeah. be a reverse. I love the up across the stage that Kiro does uh, for positioning. Just when, 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 when the opponent gets knocked to the opposite end of the stage, he just up across. It's faster than running, just by a little bit. And Kiro goes back to the ledge, but Yashi immediately catches him. And grabs oh. the ledge, takes it to last stock. Okay. That was so impressive, hitting Kiro, despite his patience, just running out and hitting Kiro, refreshing his ledge invincibility. That is scary stuff because often, you know, in the Pikachu Dittos, people be patient. But Yashi rushing him yeah. down, they goes found for a the scrap grab. And Yashi was a little bit faster. Just hit him with the Nair out of that interaction. Yeah, I felt like in that tech chase, Yashi could have had an up tilt though. Just goes for the grab and the F throw. Forders him there, not a good trade. Kiro short hopping up to top platform using that familiar resource. He's a little bit late on that tech chase attempt. Kiro now with a slight disadvantage in terms of percent. Yeah. Yashi jumping forward with affairs. Not gonna reach. Kiro straight to the ledge. Finds an upper of his own, and that's a huge, huge combo. The tech Again. chase. He does the teeter cancel up till. I wonder if he could have teeter candle up smash. He doesn't need it. Just with the initial dash and gets the grab. What a punish I feel like there I've, from I've Kiro. I've just like never seen a Pika tech chase like this before. And it's so impressive when you do it twice. Yeah. Just to solidify that, yeah, I got those. Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I almost wonder if he didn't do the up smash on purpose because Yashi could potentially get the edge DI since he rolled all the way to the edge. Right, yeah. And he wouldn't be able to get the down B. There is, there is more hit lag when you hit the up smash. So there is a bigger window for that. Exactly, yeah. Kiro uses that teeter cancel up smash yeah, so such a, smart. Like a great application. And we actually saw right at that very end of that game the difference in the two players because Yashi had a similar big combo, but he just went for the grab and yeah. went for an F throw. And you know, that is damage, but didn't really get anything off it. Yes. Kiro instead went for the up tilt and back air with the teeter cancel, that yeah. technical It's It's play. something that Yashi probably doesn't have prepared like Kiro does, and he's just doing what he knows, and he is incredibly proficient at those grab tech chases. Uh, and I've seen him find a lot of up smashes before, too. Seems to usually be on top of that, but yeah, the grab just not netting quite enough compared to the, the stuff that Kiro was able to put together. Great oh. defense there from Kiro, too. DI's out of the fair, and yeah. then just up he's away, and finding like, the grab. I opted to cross him up with the up B as well, which is always a little bit dangerous, but Yashi was not ready for it. Ooh, Yashi was really close there with that hard read up smash. Doesn't quite hit. Great spacing from Yashi, just avoiding Kiro's up tilt and punishing him with a dash grab immediately after landing. It's a big combo. Oh, and see, that's Ooh. where Kiro would go for the teeter cancel. Yeah, that was a free teeter cancel, you know? Yeah, you just, you gotta, you gotta do that as 2023. That's it. Showing the difference between the two players. I think he tried for an up smash or something, gets an accident. And Yashi has that spacing, but you know, the technical ability to get the maximum damage off those punishes. Yeah, Kiro's punish game is just looking far done right now. Yeah, that's what makes it so tough. DI's away from the jab grab after that whiff aerial. Kiro going back to ledge here. Is willing to be patient, but we've seen Yashi punish Kiro off the ledge a few times, and Kiro is over 100%. So yeah, the safest ledge options. options not available. Just Kiro in no hurry. Upper. Oh, he miss, misses the ledge that time. He uppered a little bit too late, so he wasn't able to grab the ledge. Yeah, Yashi not able to punish him. Yeah, actually just ended up doing an upbeat to the center of the stage. Kiro is so scared of this grab right yeah, now. Yeah, Kiro does not want to get grabbed at Yashi. Finds it anyway with yeah. some incredible timing. Yeah, you do too many of those short hop landing aerials right next to the opponent, and eventually they're going to find their find the rhythm. Yeah, it's like no matter what move you do, no matter how safe it is, if it's predictable, it isn't safe. Yashi, maybe with a bit of an input the error there. On Word purpose aerial? or not, it does get him back. And Kiro forced to up air. Yeah. Just a little too high percent to get that back air conversion. I was really surprised that there was a complete lack of DI from Yoshi on that forward air tech chase. Kiro got all of the hits into an up tilt. Yeah. Oh, oh weird fight off stage. Yeah. Both of them prioritizing making it to the ledge. Kiro oh, gets downbeat. Kiro had the advantage there after that wall bounce, and so many players would have tried to fight that out and hit that aerial 
Yes. And take the stock then and there. It shows it, the level of discipline he's coming into this. That he he saw a situation that he didn't recognize, and instead of reacting to it by trying to scrap through it, he just upbeat back to safety. Yeah, Kuro is an incredibly disciplined player. And wow, Look at the jump read catches him. No jump. Yeah. Gashi with suddenly a big Gashi lead here. Go. But like I was saying, Kira, a very disciplined player, you know, despite his incredible punish game and his tech skill, if he's in a situation where he feels potentially unsafe or where he can attack but his opponent might have a good defensive option, he'll just jump away. He'll set up the stage control he needs and, you know, bait something out of you before he goes in. Yashi, and it makes it so hard to hit him. Yashi, to me right now, looks so much more confident on the ground than Kiro did when he was at that grab kill percentage. Kiro is able to eventually chase him down in the sky with that backer. It's still full stock advantage for Yashi here as he gets the double grab. Yeah, Kiro looked spooked before when he was grabbable. And, Yashi, uh, trying to find an up tilt. Actually, with a clean extra stock here. Very what can he do with that slow, slow fall. fall in there? Really smart. Doesn't yeah, really get anything off it, there. but does chase him down. No jump for Kiro. Now she's still chasing him around the stage. That's a jab grab. Kiro didn't get the up that he was looking for that time. Yeah, I felt like he could have up beat there, but it was a very small window. And Yashi catching the double jump. This could do it. Ooh, great. single zip. Yeah, great mix up from Kiro. Really creative, but Back Yashi throw. finds the grab, and he is on the board. Those last two or three stocks were just so dominant from Yashi. Yeah, I mean, we're, we've talked a lot about how strong Kero's punish game has been in this set, but that game was an absolute display of Yashi's ability in neutral. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like if you're letting Kiro get those openings, he can run away with it. And Yashi, as the player that has the neutral advantage and the punish disadvantage, yeah. you're forced to be so careful and find those individual hits. And Yashi taking a moment to breathe here. Uh, Took the chip off of Pikachu. Let's we'll see what he opts to do. Maybe worried about some kind of counter pick coming out from Kiro. Yeah, I'm curious about that. Yashi does have multiple characters Yashi. available to him. We've seen him use Falcon and Kirby uh, in various sets. So Yashi could counter pick himself, but. Yeah, Kiro unsurprisingly willing to stick with the Pikachu Ditto. He's up two to one, and I think he's pretty confident in his Pikachu skills. Yes. Um, a really interesting one here would be if Kira were to go Yoshi. Um, Yoshi has looked a little weak against Yoshi. I believe he was upset by Yoshi uh, earlier in the tournament. Maybe the Yid? Or, uh, I'm trying to remember who he lost to. I'm not sure. I think it might have been the Yid. Uh, definitely not the Yid. He was in my team. Not the Yid? I can't remember who I know was. Yoshi was upset in the tournament earlier by Velocity Jones. Velocity yeah. Jones? Wow, that guy's improved so much. Yeah. But in the end, that was Division 2. It looks like he played pretty well in Division 1 because yes. he made it here to the winner's oh, bracket. But he Look catches him with that back air. Insane find from Yoshi. Yeah, he was the one in a disadvantageous situation there. Offstage just jumps up with a bear and finds Kira without a jump. So Yoshi getting that early lead off a situation that looked bad for him. Nice defensive up there, there though. Yashi trying to jump onto that side platform. Something I've noticed people do when someone's under the side platform, jumping onto it to take stage position. Yashi landed a backer on Kuro there, but it was fully staled because that's what he took the last stock with. And so when he went for the dash grab follow-up, there wasn't enough time and Kuro just jab grabbed him out of it. Yeah, great awareness there from Kuro. And staleness, it can actually be quite important in this matchup. It's a mechanic that a lot of people underlook, but it is important in those jab grabs and in the four kills. Up yeah, the up the air just there. gets him, and Kira with no jump doesn't yeah. even attempt the so up So Kira, he teched to the edge of the platform to try to get out of that combo and was DIing away and just caught his jump uh, through the DI. It's really difficult to do horizontal DI without accidentally double jumping if you leave it stunned. Yeah, almost impossible. Kira here, playing carefully. Yeah, Yoshi's yeah. up a stock again. Yeah, using that top platform now, and Ooh. you can see... He definitely had a tech slide off there, but did a tech roll. And Kiro just able to extend the punish. With some nice up -ease here from Yashi, but eventually runs out of places to go. Kiro tracks him down, uses that short hop up to top platform. That's a cute little edge guard uh, you see people do sometimes, hanging out on the side platform and then short hopping up to now top platform. Now it's Yashi's turn to be patient on the ledge, and then eventually just up -ease across the whole stage. It's so hard to answer that. Yeah, so Yashi, really what Yashi wants here is going to be a grab. That would enable the chain grab and let him build up a lot of percentage. 
can't find it. Kiro finds that back air. Very difficult to get off of the ledge against the Pikachu back air. Yeah, it's tough, especially when you're when your opponent's at zero and you're at you know a hundred, because an up air isn't gonna work for you. Kiro poking with that reverse up air, chasing him down, Ooh. but it misses the tech yeah, chase. A like rare a, tech chase miss from Looked like a read. Yeah, it looks like kind of he hard read tech away and tried to go for an up smash. Actually finding the chain grab, not gonna get. Yeah, oh, finally gets the chain grab, but just, just some positioning. Yeah, just kind of lets him go to ledge. How is Kiro gonna get off of the ledge this time? I wonder if he learned anything from watching Yashi up the across the stage there. Seems like he did. I like that fair. And he manages to uh, wait out the up tilt and grab him. So Kira looking good in, in this potentially final game. Yashi saves his position, but you can see Kira use this top platform. And oh. if you're someone who's not used to fighting a Pikachu on top platform, it's hard to approach. Yeah. Getting that reverse back air there is not as easy as it looks either. That requires a lot more precise spacing than the, the regular back air. Kira able to find it and put himself in the lead. Yeah, Yashi here potentially on his final stock. Needs to prevent every hit he can, and from being up a three stock to two lead, he's now two down, two to one. Kyo jumps into Ooh. him with the down air, yeah. and that's percent that Yashi cannot get rid of. Every, Finds the grab. Every matters so much here. Yeah, even if he takes the stock, you know, any oh, percent. to do it. But Kiro, I think maybe he messed up that up B. It didn't look like he wanted to up B right in front of him. Yeah. And now Yashi. Oh, that's a big upper knockdown. This is such a uh, different game that both of them have to play there because Kiro has access to those upper knockdowns and Yashi just kind of has to poke and get that early percent. Wow, that spacing jumps away, but Incredible. Kiro finds the grab anyway. Hard reads a recovery to top platform there, I guess. Yashi goes to ledge. He's just not able to chip away at Kiro right now. Kiro's slowly been building up this lead, this stock. Yeah, Yashi really needs a grab here. Can he find it? Can he yeah. find anything? Error from both players there, but they're being so cautious. Nobody was able to capitalize. No, Kiro's the one that finds the grab, and now Yashi is forced to recover. Oh, what oh, really creative, that Alvin Angle. The diagonal recovery, but still such a tough position. Finds a down air, that's something at least. Yeah, we're getting so close to that and back Kiro just so percent. good at three grabs in a row. Do it yet. 99% to 16, though. He does the same angle again. Kiro not looking ready for it. He's got to get out of this ledge situation. Yeah, Kiro just looking for a grab. Double jump there onto the side Secure it, and he finds that fourth grab to secure his position. Yeah, Kiro moves on to winner's quarters. Yoshi staying on the stream setup, going to play his loser's bracket match next. So yeah, Kiro is moving on to play Kraba. And that's going to be on the side stream, which I believe is VG Bootcamp 2. Or on the main stream, sorry, which is VG Bootcamp 2. Uh, so yeah, 